to front former Makadara Member of Parliament Benson Mutura for the position. The county has been mad with uncertainty in a leadership scaffold that culminated in uh, some key functions being transferred to the national government. Right now, I'd like to talk to our reporter, Brian Obuya, joining us from a city center studio. Brian Obuya, good morning. Kindly take us through this um, election process that is supposed to happen uh, this afternoon. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you, Brenda. Now, like you've mentioned, uh, uh, it has been not a very, very uh, easy path for Nairobi County and uh, residents at large because they have been uh, greeted with these shock and chaotic scenes that we've been seeing all across since uh, that time, including when uh, some services of the county government were handed over to the national government uh, by the time uh, Governor Mike Sonko was putting pen to parchment, uh, releasing those functions. Before then, we saw uh, other things coming up that the governor said he wasn't exactly very much aware of what that situation was. Now, the, uh, by the time uh, Beatrice Ilachi was resigning as the first woman uh, speaker of Nairobi County, of course, it was throwing the entire situation, the entire leadership of Nairobi County into a further crisis. So now uh, the, the clerk has listed about seven people who have qualified for that position, and we are seeing that election taking place this afternoon. Uh, of importance to note is that Beatrice Lach was the first woman uh, speaker of uh, the, the, the capital the, of Nairobi County Assembly. Right now, as we speak, of all the candidates we've seen, we haven't seen a, a woman who has been uh, fronted for, for that seat. Among those who have actually uh, made a comeback uh, uh, on that list is the former speaker, uh, Ole Magelo, who uh, is also seeking that position alongside uh, six others, including the former Makadara Member of Parliament, like you had mentioned, whom the Jubilee Party has fronted as their candidate. We saw that yesterday when uh, the party Secretary General uh, Jubilee Party Secretary General uh, uh, Raphael Tuju summoned all its Nairobi County MCAs to the party headquarters in Pangani in that meeting that lasted over two and a half hours deliberating on where exactly are they putting their vote. I want you to understand that with roughly 122 MCAs in Nairobi County, 65 of them are members of the Jubilee Party. 65 of them are members of the, of, uh, the Jubilee Party. This speaker will require at least 82 votes to become speaker. So if all the Jubilee MCAs vote in for their candidate, plus a few other votes, uh, making it to a cut of 82, then their candidate becomes the next, uh, the next speaker. But we've seen that division, even within Jubilee. Even within Jubilee itself, there are those who are not contented by the choice the party has made for them to elect one one uh, former uh, MP, uh, M M Mutura, then we haven't really had a voice from the other party, say ODM, saying who is their most preferred candidate. So we are going to see a secret ballot according to the, of course, standing uh, order number seven, whereby it's supposed to be by secret ballot. So they'll be there to vote secretly to see who becomes the next speaker of, uh, of uh, Nairobi County after Elachi resigned, putting an end to those long-running supremacy battles between herself, the governor, and uh, the former the former county, county clerk. So that's what we are going to see this afternoon, a secret ballot. A are we going to see an end to the chaotic scenes we've seen at the Nairobi County Assembly, which has, uh, uh, for lack of a better word, been turned into a battleground? Police actually making their way in it and uh, unleashing untold terror, even uh, amongst uh, the, the MCS themselves. We saw the, uh, the other... Uh, chaotic scenes we saw when uh, the, the, the MCAs were trying to impeach uh, the then uh, speaker, Beatrice Elachi. So we are going to see slowly by slowly, uh, it will be revealed if the sanity, some order is going to be retained in the county. But that can only be conclusive after the vote and a few months into it. But currently, the Rui MCA is the one holding that position on a temporary basis until we see the elections take place this afternoon.
Yeah, I was about to ask you about, and it's good you've talked about it, about ODM uh, talking about their own candidate, a person that they want. And from your explanation, it looks like it might not be an easy ride for the former Makadara MP because not all Jubilee uh, MCAs are in support with uh, the decision that the party has taken. And that exactly is the point. That exactly is the point, Brenda. Because even after that meeting, a few of them we spoke to actually told us most of the time that is a party decision. It's, uh, the party is trying to front their candidate. Jubilee has a candidate. And when we asked that question to Jubilee Secretary General Rafael Tuju, he said, we just want our members to know we have a preferred candidate. So that statement maybe means that the members could decide whom they want to vote, for, whom they want to vo vote for themselves. But uh, as we speak, Jubilee has fronted their candidate. We are expecting that uh, maybe a part or all of Jubilee's 65 member, members of the county assembly are going to vote in Mr. Mutura. But uh, it's interesting because Jubilee actually had uh, 66 MCAs. Uh, but that was before Habiba Hussein lost her, her seat. Interestingly, very interestingly and awkward for missing seatings for two consecutive years. That's what Elachi told us by the time she was being relieved of, uh, of her duties. So this is not going to be an easy thing. The position of the speaker anywhere else could be, a, could be an easy task but not at the Nairobi County Assembly, where we've seen all these uh, uh, chaotic episodes time and, uh, time and again. But who is going to take on that position? Because it's a very, very uh, uh, interesting position everyone wants to hold, taking away a gross salary of about 600,000 and uh, some 2.1, 2.2 million in medical cover. It's an interesting position that everybody else wants to have interest in that position, controlling uh, uh, the decisions, uh, the decision making of the of Nairobi's capital. But especially now that the county government is not exactly in control, but the national government, it will be a very, very interesting thing thing to watch. But uh, what has really caught some other quarters discussing it uh, all, all, all through is that there has not been a woman uh, aspirant who has appeared interested in that position after firebrand politician uh, uh, Beatrice Elachi attended in her resignation a few days, a few days, uh, a few days back. So Brenda, that is the match we know right now. ODM has not uh, said anything about who is their preferred candidate. Jubilee says Mutura it is. But at 2 p.m., a secret ballot will be held, and Rai MCA will stop holding that position on a on a, on a temporary basis. And the County Assembly of Nairobi will have a new speaker. And as time moves by, we will know if is it a jinxed position or there's just something special about the previous administration. That is the match we can post at this hour for News Center. Brenda. All right, thank you so much, Brian. We are 2 p.m. It is uh, when MCAs make that crucial decision, we'll know who will be the next speaker of the Nairobi County Assembly. Now, to some international news, and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said,